Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with Keras. Our viewer is running a test script for a multi-layer perceptron model and faces an error stating, name Keras is not defined. Let's dive into this problem and see how we can resolve it together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. The error you're encountering indicates that the name Keras is not defined. This typically means that the Keras library has not been imported correctly. To fix this issue, ensure that you import Keras at the beginning of your script. You can do this by adding the line import Keras or by importing specific modules directly. Alternatively, you can import the specific functions you need from Keras. For example, you can import utils directly to access to categorical. After making these changes, run your script again. This should resolve the name error and allow your code to execute properly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To resolve the Keras not defined error, you can import Keras from TensorFlow. This user suggests using TensorFlow's Keras utilities to convert your labels to categorical format. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time you need a technical video, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.